It is a crime Grandview Heights police have become all too familiar with. A man exposing himself to women in public. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Ellie Merritt. And I'm Dwayne Pullman. It has been months since the last indecent exposure incident, but police say it happened again last night, and this time the victims were threatened. There have been 14 reports of public indecency in that area since June of 2013. Some of them are very similar, but the description of the suspect has been inconsistent, and that's partly because that suspect covers his face. NBC4's Liz Adiola is live now in Grandview Heights with details on this latest incident. And Liz, this one involves children. Yeah, that's right. This marks the 15th incident that has happened in this area in just the last few years, and it happened about two blocks west of a preschool. According to police, the victim says the exposer threatened to sexually assault her and her two daughters as they were here on 2nd Avenue just walking that evening. Now, I reached out to the victim, and she didn't feel comfortable talking about the incident at this time, but residents here, they had a lot to say. On a brisk Friday afternoon, mothers pushed strollers, residents ran errands. You want to feel safe when you're out walking. That's definitely a walking neighborhood. This is 2nd Avenue in Grandview Heights. The latest spot police say was targeted by an exposer. It's a little scary. My daughter and her husband walk with the children every day. Like many residents we spoke to on Friday, Cindy Wilco says she had no idea that a man had exposed himself to a family and threaten harm. I'm glad to be aware so I can um, be paying more attention. Police officers say the man approached a mother and her two young daughters from behind, his face partially covered by a black shirt. The woman says he exposed himself and threatened to sexually assault her and her children while touching himself inappropriately. The victims ran away and called police. Darren Tucker says his daughter walks home from work around the same time when the incident occurred Thursday night. I think I'm going to start meeting her at work and walking her home. In the meantime, Grandview Heights police have shared a description of the suspect, but it's vague. Now, this is the second indecent exposure incident that's happened here in Grandview Heights this year. The first was back in June. Police say they're not sure if all of these incidents are linked because the descriptions of the suspect's face have been pretty vague. Reporting live in Grandview Heights, Liz Adiola, NBC4. All right, Liz, thank you. Let's take you back to October last year. That's when Grandview Heights police arrested Clint Wolf after a woman caught, himself, caught him touching himself inappropriately in a parking lot. Wolf had been charged in 2013 for poking a hole in a wall to watch his neighbor in the shower. Police shared his picture to other exposure victims, but they have not been able to connect him to any other incidents. 